Have you noticed the few subtle changes happening to your body once you hit age 50? As our bodies age, our metabolism slows down, our muscles tend to relax, and we may experience changes in weight and digestion. It's common to have difficulty digesting certain foods as we get older. However, there are steps you can take to help manage these changes. As a man or woman over 50 I now have to really pay attention to my diet, specifically these 8 foods to avoid after age 50. Watch those calories a bit more closely, and eat less food with added sugar or a lot of solid fats. Sure it is, eat, but if I don't pay attention to what I eat, I run the risk of diabetes, obesity, a heart attack, and a stroke. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Organic Healthy Food where I share with you the best tips and tricks for living a healthy and happy life. In today's video, I'm going to talk about 8 foods that you should never eat after age 50 if you want to avoid health problems and stay fit and healthy. These foods are not only bad for your waistline, but also for your heart, liver, bones, and blood sugar. But before we get into the video, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you. So without further ado, let's get started. If you don't pay attention to what you eat, you run the risk of diabetes, obesity, a heart attack, and a stroke. Yep, these tend to happen more often as we age, something that will be in our future if we don't make an effort to eat the right foods and stay a healthy weight. So what does this mean? It simply means eat right and eliminate the foods that are bad for you. And yes I know, gathering the information and doing the research can become a little overwhelming. But no worries, I've compiled the 8 foods to avoid after age 50 list below, e done for you right there. Now there's no excuse, it's time to ditch the unhealthy foods and start eating right. Number 1. Fried foods. Fried foods are foods that are cooked in hot oil or fat, such as french fries, chicken nuggets, donuts, and samosas. Fried foods are very tasty, but they are also very unhealthy. Fried foods are loaded with saturated fat and salt, which can raise your cholesterol and blood pressure increasing your risk of heart disease and stroke. Fried foods also contain a lot of calories, which can lead to weight gain and obesity. Obesity is a major risk factor for diabetes, arthritis, sleep apnea, and some cancers. Therefore, you should avoid eating fried foods after age 50, or at least limit them to occasional treats. Instead of frying your food, try baking, grilling, or air frying it. You'll save a lot of calories and fat, and still enjoy a crispy and delicious meal. For example, you can make baked potato wedges instead of french fries, or grilled chicken breast instead of fried chicken. You can also use herbs and spices to add flavor to your food without adding extra salt or oil. By choosing healthier cooking methods, you can improve your health and wellness after age 50. Number 2. Sugary drinks. Sugary drinks are beverages that contain added sugar or other sweeteners, such as soda, fruit juice, sports drinks, energy drinks, and sweetened coffee or tea. Sugary drinks can have negative effects on your health, such as increasing your risk of weight gain, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and tooth decay. If you want to improve your health and wellness, you should limit your intake of sugary drinks and choose healthier alternatives such as water, unsweetened tea or coffee, or sparkling water with a splash of fruit juice. Here is a handy guide to the amount of sugar and calories in popular beverages. Number 3. Butter. Butter is a dairy product that is made from churning cream or milk. Butter is widely used in cooking and baking, as well as a spread for bread, toast, or crackers. Butter has a rich and creamy taste, but it also has a lot of drawbacks for your health. Butter is high in saturated fat, which can clog your arteries and increase your risk of heart disease. Butter also contains a lot of calories, which can contribute to weight gain. 
As you age, your metabolism slows down, and you need fewer calories to maintain your weight. Excess weight can put stress on your joints, muscles, and bones, causing pain and mobility problems. Therefore, you should avoid eating butter after age 50, or at least limit it to small amounts. Instead of butter, use olive oil or avocado oil for cooking and baking. These oils are rich in monounsaturated fats, which can lower your cholesterol and protect your heart. You can also use natural spreads such as nut butters, hummus, or avocado. These spreads are rich in healthy fats, fiber, and antioxidants. By choosing healthier alternatives to butter, you can improve your health and wellness after age 50. Number 4. Cherries. Cherries are a delicious fruit that have many health benefits. They are packed with antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds that can help fight aging and disease. However, cherries are also very high in sugar, which can be a problem if you have diabetes or prediabetes. Diabetes is a common condition that affects more than one in four adults over 65. Diabetes can cause serious complications such as nerve damage, kidney failure, blindness, and amputation. If you have diabetes or prediabetes, you should limit your intake of cherries and other fruits that are high in sugar. Instead of cherries, choose berries such as blueberries, raspberries, or strawberries. Berries are lower in sugar but still high in antioxidants and fiber. By choosing healthier fruits, you can improve your blood sugar control and prevent diabetes complications after age 50. Number 5. Bacon. Bacon is a type of cured meat that is made from pork belly or back. Bacon is a popular breakfast food that many people love. However, bacon is also very bad for your health. Bacon is high in sodium, which can raise your blood pressure and increase your risk of stroke. Bacon is also high in nitrates and nitrites, which are preservatives that can form carcinogenic compounds in your body. Bacon is also high in saturated fat and cholesterol, which can raise your risk of heart disease. Therefore, you should avoid eating bacon after age 50, or at least limit it to occasional treats. Instead of bacon, choose lean protein sources such as eggs, turkey sausage, or tofu scramble. These proteins are lower in sodium, fat, and cholesterol but still high in protein. By choosing healthier alternatives to bacon, you can improve your health and wellness after age 50. Number 6. Margarine. Margarine is a type of spread that is often used as a substitute for butter. However, margarine is not healthier than butter. Margarine contains trans fats, which are artificial fats that are created by adding hydrogen to vegetable oils. Trans fats are the worst type of fat for your health. They can raise your LDL, bad, cholesterol and lower your HDL, good, cholesterol levels. Trans fats can also increase inflammation and oxidative stress in your body. Trans fats have been linked to an increased risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and Alzheimer's disease. Therefore, you should avoid eating margarine after age 50, or at least limit it to small amounts. Instead of margarine, use natural spreads such as nut butters, hummus, or avocado. These spreads are rich in healthy fats, fiber, and antioxidants. By choosing healthier alternatives to margarine, you can improve your health and wellness after age 50. Number 7. Soda, which is a word that can have different meanings depending on the context and the region. In this case, it refers to soda pop, which is a sweet carbonated drink that is flavored with various ingredients, such as sugar, syrup, fruit juice, or artificial sweeteners. Soda pop is one of the worst drinks for your health, especially as you age. Here are some of the reasons why you should avoid or limit soda pop after 50. Soda pop is loaded with sugar, which can spike your blood sugar levels and increase your risk of diabetes and obesity. One 12 ounce can of soda pop contains about 10 teaspoons of sugar, which is more than the recommended daily intake for adults. 
Drinking too much sugar can also cause insulin resistance, inflammation, and fatty liver disease. Soda pop can erode your tooth enamel and weaken your bones due to its acidity and phosphoric acid content. The acid in soda pop can dissolve the protective layer of your teeth, making them more prone to cavities and sensitivity. Phosphoric acid can also interfere with the absorption of calcium in your bones, leading to osteoporosis and fractures. Soda pop can increase your blood pressure and your risk of heart disease and stroke. The sodium in soda pop can raise your blood pressure, especially if you are sensitive to salt or have kidney problems. The sugar in soda pop can also increase your triglycerides and lower your HDL, good, cholesterol, which are risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Soda pop can cause dehydration and kidney stones. Soda pop can make you feel thirsty, but it does not hydrate you well because it contains caffeine and diuretics that make you urinate more. This can lead to dehydration and electrolyte imbalance, which can affect your brain function and mood. Dehydration can also increase the concentration of minerals in your urine, which can form kidney stones. These are some of the harmful effects of soda pop on your health after 50. By avoiding or limiting soda pop, you can improve your hydration, blood sugar, blood pressure, dental health, bone health, and heart health. I hope this explanation was clear and helpful to you. Number 8. Fast food. Fast food consumption and its link to increased risk of disease and early mortality. Fast food is a type of mass-produced food that is designed for commercial resale, and with a strong priority placed on speed of service versus other relevant factors involved in culinary science. Fast food is often high in saturated fat, sugar, salt, and calories, which can harm your health or increase your risk of certain diseases. Here are some of the reasons why fast food consumption can lead to disease and early mortality. Fast food consumption can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease, which is the leading cause of death worldwide. Fast food can raise your blood pressure, cholesterol, and triglycerides, which are risk factors for heart disease and stroke. Fast food can also cause inflammation and oxidative stress in your blood vessels, which can damage them and lead to atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is the buildup of plaque in your arteries, which can narrow them and reduce blood flow to your heart or brain. Fast food consumption can increase the risk of colorectal cancer, which is the third most common cancer worldwide. Fast food can alter your gut microbiota, which are the bacteria that live in your intestines and help with digestion and immunity. Fast food can reduce the diversity and abundance of beneficial bacteria and increase the growth of harmful bacteria that can produce toxins and carcinogens. These substances can damage your intestinal lining and cause inflammation, which can lead to the formation of polyps or tumors. Fast food consumption can increase the risk of obesity, which is a major risk factor for many chronic diseases. Fast food is high in energy density, which means it contains a lot of calories per unit of weight. Fast food is also low in satiety, which means it does not make you feel full or satisfied for long. This can lead to overeating and weight gain. Obesity can increase your risk of diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia, osteoarthritis, sleep apnea, gallstones, and some cancers. Fast food consumption can increase the risk of insulin resistance conditions, such as type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Fast food is high in refined carbohydrates and sugars, which can spike your blood glucose levels and cause your pancreas to secrete more insulin. Insulin is a hormone that helps your cells take up glucose from your blood for energy or storage. However, if you consume too much fast food, your cells may become less responsive to insulin, which means they do not take up glucose as efficiently. This can lead to high blood glucose levels, hyperglycemia and high insulin levels, hyperinsulinemia, which can damage your organs and tissues. Fast food consumption can increase the risk of depression, which is a common mental disorder that affects your mood, thoughts, feelings, and behavior. Fast food can affect your brain chemistry and function by altering the levels of neurotransmitters such as serotonin, 
dopamine, and norepinephrine. These are chemical messengers that regulate your emotions, motivation, reward, learning, memory, and stress response. Fast food can also affect your brain structure by reducing the volume of gray matter in areas involved in cognitive control, emotion regulation, and decision making. These are some of the harmful effects of fast food consumption on your health after 50. By avoiding or limiting fast food consumption, you can improve your diet quality, nutrient intake, body weight, blood pressure, blood glucose, blood lipids, gut health, brain health, and mental health. I hope this explanation was clear and helpful to you. So these 8 foods that you should never eat after age 50 if you want better health. These foods can harm your body and increase your risk of chronic diseases. By avoiding these foods, you can improve your health and quality of life. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let me know if have been you avoiding these foods? Or if you have any questions about them? I would love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I post two new videos every week about health, nutrition, fitness, beauty, sexual health, and more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.